Welcome everyone to part three of my PinSim guide. In this video, we're going through what software you need and how to get it all set up to play visual pinball in VR. It can seem like a difficult job with a lot of the information spread between forums and Facebook posts, but you can get it set up and running in about 15 minutes. We'll need to start by getting all the core files to get Visual Pinball X, or VPX for short, up and running, along with VPVR. All links to the files will be in the description. For most of these sites, you'll need to create accounts with them to be able to download files, so make sure you've done that. The first thing you'll need is the VPX all-in-one installer. Currently, you'll need 10.6. Next, grab the latest VP in MAME SAM build beta. This adds some extra support for newer Stern machines and color ROM files. You'll need the current version of VPVR. And finally, download the VR launcher. This is a front end for all your VR tables, so you can switch tables easily without leaving VR. Now it's time for the installation. Extract all the files from the archives you've downloaded. I've already done this for mine. Start by installing VPX with the all-in-one installer. It will try to install DirectX. It will probably be an older version than what's already on your system. The same goes for the .NET framework. Make sure you don't install the Bing bar when you're installing this. Click yes for the B2S installation. Next, copy the files from the SAM build beta into your Visual Pinball VP in MAME folder. Overwrite the existing files in there. Now we need to copy the files from the VPVR into the Visual Pinball folder and overwrite the files there as well. Lastly, let's add the VR launcher. This gets copied into the Visual Pinball folder as well. This is all you need to start adding tables and get playing, but there are plenty of settings and tweaks that can be done. Go to the folder you installed everything to and open up VPinball XGL. This is the VR version. It will automatically ask to load a table. Just cancel that out. Go to the Preferences menu, then VR Settings. Display does nothing for VR, you can ignore it. Check the box for Disable VR Preview. That way you're not wasting any power rendering another screen. Have the anti-aliasing MSAA sample set at 4. Performance can vary based on your CPU, so test it and change it as needed. Leave the super sampling set at 1. Disable the post-processed anti-aliasing. This conflicts with the other anti-aliasing and hurts performance. Table setup sets your position in front of the cabinet. You'll need to adjust this to suit your setup. Enable screen space reflections. Ambient occlusion is disabled in the program. It currently doesn't do anything. VR near plane. Leave this. It stops from rendering objects too close to your eyes. The far plane. Some rooms require you to set this at high levels. If you suffer from slowdown, then you can turn this down. VR enabled. You need to make sure it's not set to auto detect, but it's set to enabled. Close this menu down and go back to the Preferences menu, then Video Graphics Options. Most of this page doesn't do anything for VPVR, but you will need to set the max texture dimensions. Don't have this set to unlimited. Some tables will have 8K or even 12K textures in them. VPX will unpack all of these into video memory, quickly slowing things down. I have mine set to 3072, adjust as needed for your graphics card. 
For Oculus users, there is another tweak to improve performance by installing Open Composite. Open Composite is an open source alternative to SteamVR's API, so you no longer need to enter the SteamVR environment when loading Visual Pinball VR. It's a massive performance boost and speeds up loading tables. First, rename openvrapi.dll located in your Visual Pinball directory so you have a backup of the original file. You'll need to download the 32-bit version of the DLL. The 64-bit version will not work as VPX is not a 64-bit application. Save the new DLL into your Visual Pinball directory. Create a new file called opencomposite.ini. You can do this by right-clicking in Explorer and creating a new text file, then renaming the extension to ini afterwards. Edit the INI file, it should be totally blank, and add just one line. Enable audio equals false. Then save the file. Visual Pinball VR should now work without Steam VR. Time to grab some tables and start playing. Most VR tables are hosted at vpinball.com. If you haven't set up Visual Pinball before though, you'll be missing the ROM files for the tables. There is a Visual Pinball spreadsheet repository that will have links to all the files needed. Load the VR table spreadsheet and grab the table and ROM file from the links on there. Tables are stored in the Visual Pinball Tables folder. ROMs need to be saved to the Visual Pinball VP in MAME ROMs folder. You're all set up now to play some pinball in VR. Hopefully you found this guide useful. We'll see you next time.